Hi there traders and investors, today is Tuesday, June 27, I'm ready to share a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. First, let's discuss the gold chart. The gold price is currently trying to reverse its trajectory, being trapped into a triangle pattern. This triangle is being formed at lows, I reckon it's an entering stage before a spike. You remember that I've been looking forward to opening long positions on gold. I'm already planning some buy trading ideas. My buy plan is based on clear technical reasons. Last week the trajectory depend on a buying impulse. The swing high is still valid. It's detected on the 15 minute time frame. I hope that the triangle will be broken upward. The economic calendar today contains a lot of data for the US dollar. If the data pushes the US dollar down, gold will spike in parallel. There's enormous liquidity upward. I know that a lot of traders insist that a sell impulse is going on. I discovered the signs of reversal. When the market is trading sluggishly lower for a long while, the downtrend will not last for long. So the time is right to consider buying trading ideas. The market is set to reverse upward. Let's imagine you sold gold at 1938, 1940 and 1950 in late May. And you've been holding short positions for a month. But the price has not changed. You should check the news. If you find out negative fundamentals for gold, you will click the close order button. If lots of traders close their short positions, the price will increase, suggesting long positions. If we go long now, the first upward target will be 1936. The first one is the level of stop orders at 1939. If we are lucky, the third target will be 1985, that is the area of the seller stop orders accumulated in June. Perhaps this puzzle will be solved today after the news. Before we discuss the euro dollar pair, I remind you that last week, Gold made a downward correction on the uptrend. Those who went long on the euro dollar pair last week have already earned something. Last week I advise you to stick to long positions. American traders bought the pair last week and tested swing highs that occurred on June 23-26. The uptrend is still going on, though facing resistance. If you open long positions, this resistance level will be the first upward target. The price could make a downward correction, suggesting modest trading opportunities. I advocate for long positions in light of the previous moves. If the price passes the first resistance, a double top will be ahead at 1.11. The second target is also realistic. The pound dollar pair has been trading water, trading water. Today it has triggered stop orders upward. I reckon it could tumble. I found both upward and downward targets. I'm not trading the pound dollar pair for a while. The dollar yen pair has been trading higher, heading a swing high created in November 2022 when the Bank of Japan inter intervened on forex. Currently, the instrument is approaching the levels which could be interesting to the Bank of Japan. The bank could go short on the yen as it did last year. That lock, that long black candle means forex interventions to strengthen in the yen. Then stop the yen's free fall at 146-150. Be careful in this area. It's around the corner. That's all I wanted to tell you today. See you later.